I was on hole number one. We were at the sectional uh, girls golf tournament. I took my first shot and immediately I felt something that felt a lot like butterflies cover my whole body. Early recognition of stroke is crucial to a patient's outcome. And I was thinking like, this is probably my nerves. It's nothing to worry about. Like, I'll get over it. It'll be okay. But that's not what happened. She actually dropped the golf club and ended up putting it upside down. And immediately I went, something's not right. The faster you identify it, the faster you can get to an emergency room, the faster people like us can take care of it. So she goes out to her next shot, then she pulls out a driver. And if you play golf, you know that you don't hit a driver on the fairway. I found the ball and I called to her and I said, you know, Eva, your ball is here. And I turned and looked at him and walked away. So that's when I went over and, and hugged her and we sat down on the ground uh, and I called 911. Fast, face, arm, speech, and time. You have an alteration in the symmetry of your face, any type of weakness in your arm, or if you have a speech change, those are, are classical symptoms of a stroke, and the time represents you need to call 911. She was unable to speak when she arrived at OSU, and she could not move the right side of her body. When we walked in, there were two teams waiting. There was Dr. Nimji and his team, and they immediately started walking in one direction, and there was a team of people to handle me. <laughs> Eva had something called a large vessel occlusion stroke. That's identified by basically a blockage right in one of the proximal arteries of the brain, occluding the entire blood supply to the left side of her brain. And Dr. Nimji said, I, I, don't, I don't care about the paperwork right now. We need to save her life. We'll worry about that later. We took her straight to the operating room from the bay. And uh, as soon as we were in the operating room, I was operating on her within five minutes. Dr. Nimji and my grandpa are my heroes. Like, I love them so much. This type of intervention, provided in a timely manner, can result in patients like Eva recovering. She's a um, girl who has very high expectations and, um, you know, wants excellence in herself. After the stroke, I couldn't excel in the way that I wanted to. Eva's own tenacity, fortitude, and the love and her support of her family has gone a long way to being where we are today, and we couldn't be more thrilled for her. I'm back up in honor and AP classes and everything, so. You know, I'm not letting it control my life. I would absolutely recommend OSU. Um, my daughter received exceptional care there, and I feel like um, we as family members were cared for and supported as well. Yeah, I would say that Dr. MG and OSU not only saved my granddaughter's life, they gave me back the girl I've had for 17 years. <laughs> The family said to me, and Eva said to me, she said, you know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And I said, no, Eva, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your grandfather. Your grandfather recognized that something was wrong. He made sure to call 911 because he saw the change in your face, in your arm, and in your speech. And that's what saved you. Your grandfather's your hero. I am grateful for Ohio State because they changed my life, and not only did they change it, but they helped me to become the person that I am. The unique aspect of her care here at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, you always have someone to look at and say that person is responsible for my care. And what my patients have told me is that's very reassuring that they don't get lost anywhere. It's one phone call and they get to me.